Hello everyone, this is Sunbeam. Um, I'm going to record a video that is going to showcase a bit how to get Noclip running in Wolfenstein Youngblood. Uh, I've been playing this game for quite a bit now. I've got almost to level 40 without any, uh, let's say, experience support. Uh, and um, I've been in game uh, at um, a certain location where, for the love of me, the developers, I think, uh, made a mistake by placing a loot box inside a container in which you cannot enter at all. So I'm just going to show you in-game where I'm right now and what triggered this uh, video to, to be created. Uh, there are people that are asking me, um, well, can you tell us how you got to um, uh, the process of developing the no clip feature and so on and so forth? Well, this is the reason why. Uh, while I am in game, I'm going to try not to move so much because I've noticed that if I press WASD and try to move around or shoot, my voice is going to stutter. Uh, let me show you what it does. Testing, testing, testing. If my voice did stutter, then you'll be hearing some garbled sound. So. I'm at this location, you can check the minimap. I have a, a loot box, which is like in front of me. And you can see there's a container there. The loot box is not above. And not here at all. The loot box is not here also. So pretty much, I don't know how exactly to get inside that container to acquire the contents of the loot box. Uh, the reason you see the loot box in the minimap is because of this ability, which is called Secrets Collector. You can see there, collects, collectibles appear on your minimap. So that being said, considering I don't have any means to get inside that container to, to get the contents of the loot box, not necessarily that it would matter for the, the game progression, because I don't think it's a, a loot box that gives you... Um, let's say, uh, collectible. It just gives you, I think, uh, coins or stuff like that. But anyway, the point is that loot box should not be inside the container, should not be inside a container, which you cannot access at all. Uh, it's like 5 a.m. in the morning, so uh, I apologize ahead for stuttering or stuff like that. That doesn't make sense. Um, I'm going to try to be as coherent as possible. So uh, what I wanted to do, considering uh, trying to type the noclip uh, command in the console doesn't give any results, as you can see. Uh, when I press enter, you'll see the screen freeze, and that's because I have x64dbg attached to the game. So enter, and it'll break uh, in the function where uh, execution happens. Either um, cvar or a command is going to be processed through here. So now if I go back to the game, you'll see that it says a known command, no clip. Uh, so what I did next was to take a look at uh, the analysis that I've done uh, for uh, Doom 2016 and um, if I remember Dishonored 2. I uh, also found some references online and what pretty much triggered me was the existence, the existence of this post. Uh, it's also a game that runs ID Tech Engine. It's version six, not version uh, version five, not version six, compared to this one. And I noticed that in here, among the commands that you are able to run, there's also no clip, which gives you the ability to clip through walls and stuff like that. Uh, you've probably seen this in Doom 2016. Um, if I recall, it's not available there as well, but there's this post on Reddit by this guy who pretty much restored the functionality of these commands. Just so you know, no target does work in um, Youngblood, and what it does is to render you invisible. So anything going on in the game world will not target you at all. But we don't have no clip. Infinite health, no player death, and no player kill. All these, I think, aside from this one, I think the other two do work but you already have God command, so 
it's not a problem using that instead. Um, I'm also showing this post where I pretty much dismantled the game in a few minutes, one hour tops, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, and um, I posted a screenshot earlier on which showed this, and I thought, why not make a video about it? As you can see, I'm hovering uh, way above the, the map. And I'll show you what I did. So, no clip. We want this. So what I did was to use Cheat Engine and look for the string. I ran a scan. Again, if my voice is garbled, that's because the CPU is being in use and I'm also recording at the same time. So I probably need an upgrade or something like that. And I find a lot of references, right? I'm only interested in the ones that are in green because these will be in static memory, as in they will be com um, comprised within the actual executable of the game, not generated dynamically. So if I press Control B on this one, I'll see some information down below here. This one re refers to friction. This one is the actual command. As you can see, it's here. And it's between zero zeros. So the command is available, but I don't know why it says unknown command. We'll check that out later. Uh, we see no clip speed. Then again, uh, the string is part of this text. Speed the player can move while in no clip. Then the next one, it says here, um, F minus one, I think this is e a command. It says, where is it? Damn you. Here. So it's G debug player. And when you execute this, you'll see this text here. And then the last one was pretty peculiar for me because it says here no clip percentage s as in string for player percentage d as in decimal so the value for the player and then i remember that for god mode when you typed god you you see this god mode percentage s for player percentage d so let's see in the console how that looks like i'm going to type in god again this is what, what goes on here. So God mode on or off, which is a string, for player, and the value for our player is zero. What I want to do now is find out if there are, there are any references. So basically, go to the function where this string is used, and uh, where were you? Let me just use on off. I'm just going to show you the logic behind it. I know I'm already there, but I just want to show you how to get there. Come on, come on. Okay. I'm pressing the numpad minus to cycle back through memory. Okay, so this is the function. Uh, yep, this is the function, and it starts, I think, B0. It starts here. So, normally when you press, when you type in God, and then you press Enter, the debugger stops here. You run through the function. I've already talked about it in the, the topic on Fearless Forums. And then this gets executed, and our RBX, which is this address, is the one that you see here. So it's G player. I'm going to use this one with offset 3138 that you can see here. So this is our G player pointer. And then the toggling happens here. So it takes value 2, and then does these operations, and then it will 
read it here and it's zero. And now if I re resume, you'll see in the console it says God mode off for player zero. So God mode is uh, God mode's toggle is um, zero when it's off and the value is two when the toggle is on. So I try to do the same thing by finding references to the no clip command and I found two of them. Uh, if I recall, this is the first one, and then this is the second one. The second one is part of um, the Nouveau code, so it's not useful to us. But the first one, as you can see, it's here. It has an off above it, it has an on above it, and the function starts here. So what I thought of testing first was if when I type in God and hit enter, um, I can reroute the function that executes for God to actually execute no clip instead. So what I did was this. I type in God, press enter, go back here. We can see that we are in the God function, right? Then I use numpad minus to get back to no clip. And then I press control and numpad uh, multiply. And then I changed the entry point to this location. And then I run this and I see that RBX is the same one that we have in our table. So RBX is G player. But this time around for no clip, the offset is 48000. So what happens here? The value is five by default, and then this is the computation, and then the value is refreshed and placed back. So if I look in the table here, the value is five. I've already added it to my table. And then the resulting value is 85. So the toggle value for on is 85. This will be written here. And then I resume the game by pressing F9. And if I go back in game, close the console, resume the game, and I'll shut up while moving around just not to cause any stutter, you'll see what happens. You can use spacebar to go up and I think sh control, yeah, control to go down. Then you can use WASD to move and shift it to gain speed. So, remember that box? Let's see if there, il there really is a box inside this container. Okay, so Bethesda, I really don't understand why you put a box, a lootable box, inside a container in which the player does not have access. I mean, this door of the container cannot be uh, melted, cannot be uh, destroyed with electricity or with the other gun. Let me show you. So, nothing here. Nothing here. And most certainly nothing here. So any of the special weapons, any of the three special weapons that I'm trying to use to knock this door down are not working. So I really need to to ask the developers from Bethesda, how in the in God's name do you think the player trying to uh, obtain the loot from that box, which you can see up top to the right on the minimap, will be able to get to it? if not with no clip. Let's see if it works. So I'll just go inside the container and I'm going to try to loot it. There you go. So I got 100 silver coins, nothing collectible as I was saying in the beginning, but for the love of me, since I already see these collectibles on map, I want to collect them. And when I cannot collect them, I think of alternate ways to do it. 
and the fact that you guys disabled no clip doesn't really help. So either restore no clip functionality into the list of commands available in the console or get that loot box outside of this container because that's not normal. So that's pretty much it. If I um, one more effect that you uh, can observe while pressing uh, escape to pause the game is that you no longer see that graphical user interface in which you saw the two girls and the menus and stuff like that. And yeah, I cannot move while uh, this menu is displayed, but at least I don't see any black in the background. So, pretty pimp. Uh, what I want to do is to study this a bit further uh, and devise a way to either, if you remember here, when we looked at no clip, I think this was the one, yeah. So we do have the command, but I want to see what happens when I actually execute the command and why it says in the console a known command. I think it may be just disabled I mean, available to us, but just disabled. And I'll figure a way out to probably change the, the flags for the command in such a way that it's not a, a restricted command or a cheat command. We, these, um, these commands are usually not allowed to be executed. And uh, maybe that will, will give us access to the actual command. Otherwise, I will just have to um, think of a way to get the command to be appended to the list of available commands and then so pretty much um, rebuild uh, the structure of this command being executed uh, as in adding the string to the list and, and then adding the function that corresponds to executing the command so pretty much I'm going to do some um, manual injection in there we'll see how, how this works out Otherwise, um, I'll, uh, I'll just update the table and we'll see uh, how I can go from there, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. Again, sorry for stuttering. It's like 5.30 a.m. and I uh, haven't had any <laughs> sleep in a long while, like 10 hours or so. Um, I'll get back to you with, uh, with an updated table later on uh, today just to to give you guys access to that noclip command because I know you, you really want to use it. All right, signing out. Sunbeam, bye.